hello friends in this video I am going to show you how we can do the dual booting first of all it is important to understand the concept of dual booting dual booting is a mode where two operating systems are installed in the same computer so you can see here that in my laptop the window operating system is already there and I want to retain my window operating system. Side by I also want to install the Linux operating system. So in that case I will have only one option that I go for the dual booting. I can retain my window operating system as well as my Linux also. But for that we have to use some method and that we have to uh, means use properly otherwise what ha what will happen if you do not install the Linux properly you may lose your all data of window operating system so here I am going to show you that how to install Linux or any flavor of Linux side by window operating system so this is this is my pen drive and uh, which i have uh, made ready with the iso image i have booted means burned downloaded the iso image and burned into this usb drive and now i am going to install linux with the help of this uh, usb drive i inserted my usb okay so before we install with the help of USB we have to understand some of the very common things and very important things I should say that as window operating system is installed in one drive the same way Linux also will be installed in any one of the drive or you have to make some space free out of your total hard disk so first let me show you the structure of my computer hard disk so it will be clear that how to create the free space or how to use the other drive for installation of Linux you can see here that the C drive is containing window operating system which I cannot touch because if I disturb this one everything will get disturbed and even my window operating system will stop functioning the another one that is the local disk that is the e drive which is having more than 250 gb space and this is my pen drive so i'm not going to touch this and i mean to say that i have only two drives in your case suppose you have three drives four drives so you can choose accordingly one of them which is having the less space and you can install Linux in that easily but suppose you want to make some space free out of this there is also option you, which you can use to take some space out of this drive and that I'm not going to discuss here because our purpose is to install Linux so I am going to take the whole drive where I am going to install Linux so I'll just close this window and I'll proceed for the next procedure and next procedure is to start the computer with USB drive mean I am going to instruct my computer to boot the computer from USB drive so first I will restart my computer and after restarting I will wait for booting the system and when it boots I will find the key which can direct the computer not to start from hard disk but to start with the USB device. Ok so when you start the computer you have to see that your system should start from pen drive and not from the hard disk. So before you proceed you have to ensure that what is my boot key because you have to press that key then only you will get this window this kind of window and it may differ in uh, different uh, companies laptop or computer 
so this is my the boot device window where i will select the usb which i have inserted but to get this window the different laptop or different computer different brand computers may have the different boot key my in my case i am using the asus laptop so my boot key is escape in case of dell it may be f12 in case of hp it may be f10 and likewise there are many other hardware means company which may have the different boot key so i have selected this with the arrow key you can go up and down and you have to select your concerned usb drive and then hit enter so when you hit enter it will start showing the multi boot usb which you have created with the help of yumi software and now you can see it is listed your ubuntu and now you have to choose the d space live so when you choose the d space live hit enter and then it will show you this kind of system back live that uh, boot window where you have to immediately select the second option using the arrow key you can go up and down but don't press enter on the first one because if you choose the first one it will not allow you to install the d space or linux in your system um, uh, and it will start from the your usb pen drive and it will not allow to install in your system so ensure that you are choosing the second option here and then hit enter so it will take little time in processing and taking you to the next window once it takes you to the next window you have to follow all the instruction one by one and then you have to finish the installation so after some time you will get this window like this and here you have to enter the password kit kit and then hit enter so now it will it is showing me the system back window where i will choose system copy this one system copy and it will show you the hard disk hard disk structure the complete hard disk structure my total capacity of hard disk is 500 gb so it is showing the 465 0.76 GB and out of that I am having the the different US uh, the Windows drive and uh, Linux drive also I am having in this how you will identify that which one is your window drive or Linux drive here you can see these are the file system if it is mentioned NTFS it means it is the, this one is the drive of window and if it is swap or ext4 then you should understand that this is the drive of linux but in your case this particular option may not be available because you might not have installed linux earlier and not created so in that case you will be getting the ntfs partition and here you have to choose which partition you are going to use for the installation of linux so for example, I take it as a NTFS partition and I am going to install the Linux in this partition. Suppose I choose this one or I choose this one, any one if I choose, it will allow me to install in this particular uh, drive or partition. So I choose the EXT because this is 50 GB space which I have created made free and then I will select the mount point. In some of the case, please remember this option very clearly. In some of the case, this option may not show directly. Suppose you are choosing this, so this option may not show directly. So in that case, you have to delete. Let me show you. You have to delete this partition first and then it will start showing your this partition space and then you have to again you have to delete it and once you delete it it will become free and when it becomes free you have to format it so once you format it what will 
happened that you can see now it is it has started showing ext4 now it means that it has created the partition com compatible to linux and now you can check the mount point but in your case you have to follow this if you are not getting the ext4 and you have the ntfs in my case it was already there so i again deleted and i got this ext4 once again i repeat in your case suppose if it is ntfs and you are not getting the mount point directly so first delete it if it if it is asking to unmount it unmount it and then you choose the delete option again and then it will start showing the mount point and in mount point you have to select the first option that is the root and then click on format so as soon as you click on the format back arrow key you will observe that it is showing the forward slash so you should understand that your this particular space is formatted be careful here if by mistake if you do this uh, I means step with other drive it will delete all the files that's why i never encourage anyone to go with the dual partition unless or until you are confident to do and uh, there is another thing if you don't want to do all these and you want to install in the whole drive so you select your the total hard disk sda and format it and click on next after choosing the mount point so i have selected this and now I am going to click on next and see copy the system using the following restore point and click on start button. So it will take not more than 5 to 7 minutes and finish the installation and make the system ready for use. So it will install both Linux as well as the D space. So now you can see here the system copy is completed and now my system is ready to proceed so i'll click on ok so i have finished the installation part and then i'll close this and restart my computer to check whether everything is done properly or not so i'll reboot my system and i'll check it so you can see here that when you start the computer it will show you the option Ubuntu and uh, down you can see there is a window operating system it is showing both so whichever you want either you can check means select the Ubuntu or if you want to start window then you can use uh, the down arrow key or up arrow key to proceed with and then click on I mean select the Ubuntu and hit enter and it will start the Ubuntu operating system which you have installed in your computer uh, one thing I would like to mention here that I have used Lubuntu that is the uh, just like a Ubuntu but it is the lightweight Ubuntu which does not consume more space and in Lubuntu I have installed the D space so after installing DSpace, I have made it as a ISO image which is provided to you all and now it is ready to use after installation. So in next video we are going to start the all uh, rest of the procedure in DSpace, how to create the community, how to create collection, how to add item to the collection and many more with DSpace. So, so thanks for watching this video.